It's time for Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. When it comes to news on 95.1 FM, weather always comes first. Adalia is forecast to become a hurricane early this week in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. There is an increasing risk of life-threatening storm surge, hurricane force winds, and scattered flash and urban flooding along or in portions of the west coast of Florida and the Florida Panhandle beginning as early as tomorrow. Closer to home, scattered thunderstorms through tomorrow, isolated storms mainly over the mountains on Wednesday and Thursday, heavy rain remains the main threat. We'll have another look at the weather following this news. Breaking news. The Village of Tularosa Police Department is still not playing by the rules. Allegations of mayoral and police misconduct persist in the Village of Tularosa. We began digging back in April when we learned Tularosa had non-certified police officers on duty and promoted under recommendations of the mayor and approved by the village trustees. The mayor is accused of bypassing protocols that the state established for policing in order to protect the public. An allegation was made that the mayor is not consistent in giving promised raises to police staff, but that the chief has been given an indirect raise by removing his classification as a salaried employee and moving him to hourly, resulting in significant overtime pay. Another allegation is that pay raises were promised to other officers, but those working in the animal kennels have not received anything. As a matter of fact, they released an animal control officer and have not given the other one a promised raise, even though his duties have now expanded to include lawn care. Another allegation of discriminatory terminations. An officer received a 95 on her evaluation and was terminated two weeks later. The terminated officer was terminated by the police chief and witnessed by a rookie officer, even though protocol is a termination should be witnessed with someone of equal rank or the mayor. But a new allegation has come out now, and this one is specific to Chief Brandon Boyle. As the police chief, he should be the example to the city and to the police department as a whole. And as a chief, he should be certified. Yet, he is not. The mayor, in appointing Mr. Boyle to chief, has claimed that Boyle has a certification in Alaska as a police officer, and as such, that certification would be recognized in New Mexico. The problem is, he's not certified in Alaska, and not certified in New Mexico. How do we know? Sarah Hayab, administrative investigator for the Alaska Police Standards Council, sent us a letter and told us as much. It reads, in Alaska... One of the requirements to be eligible for the APSC police officer certification is that an officer must work one year at an Alaska police agency. Mr. Boyle did not work for a year in Alaska and does not have a certification. The state of New Mexico shows that according to their records, he is not certified and came to work in Tularosa on March 6th of 2023. According to New Mexico state law, he has one year to get his certification or will be forced to resign on March 5th of 2024. It's important to point out that Mr. Boyle had no adverse actions reported to the state of Alaska in his record. However, questions are raised as to why he did not complete the one year of service required for certification in Alaska. Why has he not applied for certification in New Mexico as an example for his recruits and staff? The Tularosa Police Department has been through a number of police chiefs over the last few years under the present mayoral regime. In an interview back in 2019, Tularosa Mayor Margaret Trujillo said she goes on ride-alongs with Tularosa police officers up to four times a week and says she tries to be hands-on in everything. You know, a micromanager often raises a lot of red flags, too. And given that the mayor claims to be hands-on, further questions have to be raised as to why the town of Tularosa has not complied with state law and simply provided the radio station here or our cousins at alamogordotownnews.com copies of requested state certifications on their police officers. This is an evolving story with further investigations and IPRA requests are pending. You can see more about this on alamogordotownnews.com. Attention motorcycle enthusiasts! Due to circumstances beyond their control, the annual trade show and associated events of the Golden Aspen Rally at the end of the Mountain Gods has been canceled. They report that the Tom Kiefer concert is still a go at the inn. Everyone who pre-registered will be refunded, and they say they will be back in 2024. 
Aside from COVID, this marks the first and only cancellation of the Golden Aspen Rally. The Alamogordo City Commission has a special meeting today at 4. It is an executive closed session. Looks like they'll be performing some city manager interviews. Also happening today, the county commissioners are going to be meeting in order to discuss the future of an Otero County ditch crew. That meeting is at 6 p.m. Tomorrow at 9 a.m., a special meeting has been called by the Board of County Commissioners with regards to the county gross receipts tax. Again, that's tomorrow morning at 9. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham is demanding that horse racing regulators make immediate changes to address the use of performance-enhancing drugs at the state's tracks. She suggests they consult with Kentucky, California, and New York on best practices to ensure drug-free racing. MLG pointed out to the recent deaths of seven horses at Redoso Downs. The track will host the All-American Futurity, the richest quarter horse race, over the Labor Day weekend. The governor admits that subsequent measures were adopted to ensure the upcoming races at Redoso Downs would be closely monitored, but she calls it simply too little too late. Regulators were checking blood cell counts and running tests on vital organs of qualifiers for the upcoming races at Redoso Downs, and the commission contracted with outside veterinarians in order to do pre-race inspections. The governor says that horses should have pre-race evaluations, complete with blood draws, and continuous monitoring while they're in their stalls during training. She does not say who's supposed to foot the bill. The Alamogordo Family Recreation Center is offering homeschool PE swim lessons in the month of September. Participants must pre-register for classes. If you have any questions, please call 575-439-4142. The Village of Cloudcroft presents the Shady Pines Chamber Players 11th Anniversary Fairy Garden Stroll. That's happening this weekend, September 1st to the 5th, 2 o'clock to 5 o'clock daily. That's at 200 Fox Avenue, just down from the lodge, and the event is free. However, donations are welcome. Well, today is Monday. Let's get a pup date from Animal Village NM. Are you an animal lover whose heart is constantly broken by seeing animals abused, neglected, and put to death at your local animal facility? Do you wonder why dogs are allowed to be chained, starved, beaten, and it doesn't seem like anyone does anything? Do you hear about hoarding cases, dogs being transported out of New Mexico by rescues, dogs dead in the yards in the homes, supposedly when they're in rescues? puppy mills with dozens of dead and neglected starving animals, but you see the breeders get away with it and never charged with a single thing, only to start somewhere else in New Mexico? Do you hear about animals being abandoned in increasing numbers and wonder why your neighbors keep letting their dogs and cats have unwanted litters to suffer? This is Sunny Eris with Animal Village NM, and our organization has helped your community in every single situation I've just mentioned since 2007. Since 2007, we've provided low-cost spay-neuter subsidies and hundreds of free surgeries also to pet owners without the ability to do so. Since 2007, we've provided tons and tons of pet food to food banks in your community. Since 2018, we've provided pet transport for dogs and cats without a chance of adoption to good homes in New Mexico, one of the poorest states in our country with the second highest crime rate in the United States, and the state with the highest pet abandonment rate in America. Right now, with wars and tragedies, fires and floods all over the world, many caring people are donating to help animals in other countries. At the same time, rescues here are closing, where animals need help the most in America without enough monthly sponsors to pay the bills to help the animals in need who are nearest to us. This impacts our communities right here where the love from these wonderful dogs and cats may be needed most right here in New Mexico. Please help us keep helping animals. How do you feel when you know an animal down the street is being abused? What do you do about it? Do you call animal control? Are you told that you'll be charged a fee to bring the animal in, that there isn't any guarantee that he or she won't be euthanized? Maybe you can help, and maybe you're told, oh, just keep the animal because we're full. Maybe you can and maybe you can't. Animal Village NM programs have been helping with low-cost spay neuter pet food bank to help owners feed their pets and rescuing pets from death for one reason only, because they love us. Because without the love of animals, many people have no love at all. And because of this, we have to beg for your help every day, every week, every year, because they love us. 
Become a monthly sponsor at our website today, right now, animalvillagenm.org. Anything you can donate helps us and meet expenses. Donate gently used shoes, donate cans, become a monthly sponsor right now. If you want to help, it's animalvillagenm.org, animalvillagenm.org. Remember, Animal Village NM, because they love us. News from around the state in just a moment. This is Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. AlamogordoTownNews.com is a locally owned website featuring local news matters from a local perspective that affects you, and we bring it to you directly, plus local sports, cultural arts, and events. Online, AlamogordoTownNews.com. Owned and operated by Second Life Media. We are Otero County. Directory Plus is the right size book. It's the book if you need a phone book. That's what just one person has to say about Directory Plus. With its red cover, features, colorful yellow pages, and lots more, it's no wonder people all over use Directory Plus. It has so much more information. You can cross-check phone numbers or addresses or pretty much anything. Look on the plus side, Directory Plus. I'm a big fan of Directory Plus. Former Albuquerque Public Schools teacher, 47-year-old Danny Aldez, is accused of sexually assaulting multiple students. He goes to trial today. Aldis has been charged with 10 counts of sexual penetration of a child under 13 and 19 counts of sexual contact with a minor. The trial of Sergio Almanza continues this morning. He's accused of driving an ATV in Albuquerque back in December of 2021 when he hit and killed a 7-year-old boy. The boy was crossing the road with his father following a visit to the River of Lights. Investigators said Almanza fled to Mexico following the crash, but later turned himself in more than a month after that fatal hit and run. Almanza has been charged with homicide by vehicle and tampering with evidence, along with other charges. The Las Cruces Police Department reports multiple people were taken to the hospital following a six-vehicle car crash just before 2 p.m. on Saturday. An official said that several people were taken to the hospital with multiple severe injuries, but were unable to confirm the exact number of people injured or what even caused the crash. Traffic delays may impact Donna Anna County roads as crews will begin a project today. According to Donna Anna County officials, the road department is going to be chip sealing roads for the next 15 days. One lane traffic may cause traffic delays. Officials are asking the public to please be cautious and drive slowly as chip seal projects can produce loose rocks on the road. If you have any questions about road conditions, remember, call 511. Sports and weather are next. You're listening to Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero. They are role models and educators. Their work requires a great deal of time and energy for very little pay. Who are these unsung heroes? Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Coach. The simple truth about education-based athletics in New Mexico is this. Without a committed team of coaches and administrators, it just wouldn't be possible. School sports, they bring out the best in all of us. This message presented by the New Mexico Activities Association and the New Mexico Athletic Directors Association. In volleyball action tomorrow, Gateway Christian at Loving, New Mexico Military Institute at JAL, Mesilla Valley Christian at Carrizozo, Estancia at Cloudcroft, and the Alamogordo Lady Tigers head to Valencia. In football this Friday, Hot Springs heads to Anthony. Cobre goes to Silver. Mesilla Valley Christian goes to Fort Sumner House. Deming travels to Goddard. Chaparral goes to Redoso. Gadsden comes to Alamogordo. Your crazy radio spot on weather forecast for the Tularosa Basin today calls for mostly sunny skies. Showers and storms are likely. New rainfall amounts less than one-tenth of an inch expected. Tonight, mostly cloudy with showers and storms likely. New rainfall amounts less than one-tenth of an inch expected. Tomorrow, partly sunny with a 50% chance of more precipitation. Your high today in the basin, 90. Low tonight of 63. High tomorrow, 83 degrees. In Cloudcroft, mostly sunny skies with showers and storms likely. New rainfall amounts between a tenth to a quarter of an inch expected. Tonight, mostly cloudy. Showers and storms are likely. New rainfall amounts between a quarter to a half inch expected. Partly sunny skies tomorrow with showers and storms likely. Your high today for Cloudcroft, 68. Low tonight of 48. High tomorrow, 61 degrees. Local breaking news can be found on our website, alamogordotownnews.com, and learn more about Crazy Radio by visiting kalhradio.org. We've also launched the Crazy KALH Radio YouTube channel, which will feature our daily newscasts, complete interviews, and other information which concerns everyone in the Tularosa Basin. 
That concludes today's edition of Alamogordo Town News on Crazy Radio. I'm Anthony Lucero.